Should I buy my fertilizer now? That's the question I've been getting for the last few weeks. And you know what? On our farm, we have bought some fall fertilizer already. Well, we've bought some and just one yep. certain type of fertilizer. And here's the thing. Uh, when we're talking about fertilizer or plant nutrients, there are many different sources to look at. And you can't just say, well, I used urea as my nitrogen source last year. I'm for sure going to do that again this year. We don't think of it that way. We're looking at that as a nitrogen source for our crop. And we say, you know what, what's the most economical nitrogen source for our farm this year? And it may be a liquid form, or it may be anhydrous, or it may be urea. We're going to price all those options and kind of keep an eye on things yeah, to see what's Yeah, but still, the in general, the nitrogen market has come down a lot since fall. The phosphorus market's come down, the potassium market's come down. So we've got two sides of this whole debate. Some guys are saying, oh, these are really good prices. I want to lock stuff in for now and for the next couple of years. we got other guys who are saying, oh, I got burned last year. I don't think I want want to do anything I'm just gonna let it sit well you, you can't base any decision off last year because this year is going to be different and you think of all the different market factors that are going on with fuel prices moving up or oil prices moving up with corn prices and soybean prices really at pretty high levels historically speaking you know what is that going to do with the fertilizer market Are fertilizer prices going to be moving up that's my suspicion that they are going to well, be moving here, up but we could be wrong okay so here's the way I look at this thing on our farm we did buy some some map some 11 5520. Basically, we need lots of phosphorus on our farm. We had to buy a bunch. We're talking 200 tons or more that we needed for this year, for this fall. So we decided, okay, last year at this time, you could buy phosphorus or MAP for roughly $1,200 a ton. This year, we're getting it for under $350 a ton. That's a pretty decent buy, and we'll bring this stuff in. We're paying for it pretty soon here. We'll bring it in in the fall, get it all spread out. That's all great, and the way we kind of look at it is we don't have a lot of downside risk. How much lower is it going to go than $340 a ton? Probably not much, but it could go a lot higher as proven by what happened last year. And like Darren said, with commodities going up, with oil going up, you say, uh, I don't know, I think I'm just going to lock this in and I'll take it where we're at. But let's talk about potassium. Well, I, I just wanted to say, too, you made the comment, well, okay, around $300, that's a pretty good buy for us on yep. phosphorus. Well, how do you know if it's a good buy for you? And what you really have to do is think about how much yield am I going to gain by applying this phosphorus on my field, and then how much is that phosphorus going to cost? For example, maybe your soils are really high in phosphorus and you really don't get much gain adding more. You may say, you know what? I'm not going to add more because I'm going to add another $20 or add another $50 to my fertility program and I'm really only going to gain $5. Well, that's not a good return on investment. But if you say, hey, I'm going to gain 20 bushels of corn at $4, that's worth $80 an acre to me and the phosphorus fertilizer only costs $40 an acre, well, that's a great return on investment for you. So you have to make those judgments for your farm and really field by field. Yeah, and you got to look at that with everything you do, whether it's potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus, or really anything on the farm. Farm, could be your seed, whatever it is. Now let's talk about potassium a little bit because in my mind it's a whole different story than phosphorus because while well, you may say, oh the price has dropped, it's half of what it was last year or so, it's still not a good buy. Well, it's still expensive. I know. I, I mean, potassium absolutely should be less expensive than phosphorus. There's just no way it's more valuable than phosphorus. But that's the way it is right now. Potassium is a lot more expensive, almost twice the price as phosphorus. So we're not buying right now. We're just going to hold off for a little bit. Well, potash is still pretty expensive. And again, you have to look at the return on investment for your farm. If the amount of money you're going to spend applying this type of fertilizer doesn't get you a good return on investment in terms of yield increase, you're going to have to look for something different. What a lot of farmers are doing is looking for more potassium in terms of a starter fertilizer that they could put in furrow or really close to the seed to try and avoid putting on you know, a whole bunch of potash. Rather put on something like SureK, for example, is one that a lot of guys are doing. It's a relatively safe liquid that you could put right in furrow and not have to put so many pounds of potash out there when it's well, this expensive. The, the other thing is, yeah, it's expensive, but it's still not a bad buy for what commodity prices are. And, but the way I look at it, all these guys that are asking, should I buy two years worth of stuff? Or for that matter, should I put two years worth of stuff out there? If you're broadcasting, you can get by with that. But if you're strip tilling, let's say, like we do on a bunch of our ground, I don't want to put two years worth of stuff in that strip till because it's going to get too hot. So that's what I really worry about there. All right. So there you go. You brought up this two year idea. And what what have you been telling guys about this uh, well, idea? Well, we've, of buying we've gotten a lot of people asking about that. The number one thing I've said is don't prepay for two years worth of fertilizer and get nothing today. If you're going to buy two years worth of fertilizer, take it and spread it or store it. In other words, don't let somebody sit with your money for two years because, quite frankly, there are a lot of fertilizer dealers in major financial trouble. Now, granted, a lot of them are in good shape. 
but there are some dealers out there that are in trouble. And I just don't want to see you stick a hundred thousand or half a million dollars out there and then it's gone because somebody went broke. So if you're going to prepay for fertilizer, I'd be taking it and whether you want to apply it or store it one way or the other, that's up to you. On our farm, I don't mind so much if I'm going to put two years worth of fertilizer out if I'm broadcasting, but again, I definitely would not do that in a strip till or in a band. Well, fertilizer is very important for raising crops, but nutrients are also being lost to weeds like our weed of the week. We'll show you how to get it under control coming up next.